Hi, my name's Rob Smith and welcome to my channel, Making Teas. Um, today I'm just going to do a really quick video. Again, it's on the laser dark no cut, but I did receive a message on YouTube from Mohammed. So thank you for the question, mate. Um, it was basically saying about the rasterization video I'd done and he asked um, if he could do a video on the rasterization for dark garments. Now on the RIP software, there is um, uh, settings for um, using screen um, when you get through to stage five, so use screening from printer, which is basically however you've put the graphic into the uh, software, that is how it'll print. You've also then got use micro mask, which is no matter what you're printing on, it puts dots across the whole image. Um, but you've also got a couple of settings, one for dark meat, um, garment stone, and one for light. Um, so if you're doing a image on a black t-shirt and you've got an image that's got lots of dark areas and lots of light areas, if it knows it's going on a dark gun, it'll take out a lot of the dark areas to save you ink. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is get an image uh, with a lot of light and dark areas. Um, I'll rasterize it in the settings for dark media, a uh, dark garment, um, and then we'll put that onto a garment so you can see how um, the difference between just using a micro uh, mask and using a mask for a specific color garment, in this case, black. All right, so thanks for the question, Mohammed. Um, what we'll do is we'll print something off and we will print it onto a T-shirt to show you the difference. Right, I've printed off an image. Uh, I was gonna get a very bright colored in image with some dark areas, but I thought actually I found another one which I think is gonna look pretty cool. Um, I'll show you that image now, and when you see it on the A4, it's gonna look terrible. You're gonna think, oh, that's gonna look rubbish. Uh, but I haven't pressed it to the B paper yet, and once it's on the shirt, it's gonna look well cool. Um, before anyone says anything, I'm allowed to use this image because I'm not selling it, and I'm using it just for myself and this um, video. So it's a picture of the Mandalorian. As you can see, you can hardly see anything on that. It looks pretty rubbish. So I'm gonna press that and uh, put on the shirt and show you actually how it comes out. What I've done was in the settings um, for the um, software on the Oki, uh, I've got to step five and I've selected the use um, the dark media for dark media. So what that's done is that now knows before it printed it, it's going on a dark t-shirt so it can take out lots of the dark areas, least treat strategic places of dark and all the light. And what that'll do is that'll create a great image um, on the t-shirt. Uh, if you put that image on a light t-shirt it'd look terrible but again it's the correct settings for the dark. Now on there there is also settings for light media um, which obviously you use on white t-shirts so the, this oak is great for um, rasterizing images for whatever colour. So you obviously have your micro mask which is just a set of dots across the whole image and go on anything. This one is specifically used for dark media. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll get that pressed, and um, we'll have a look. Okay, this has just come out, and as it's quite a large image, I thought I would just show you the peeling of the A to B. Now, we've done this before, but I will show you again now. So you peel up a corner, remember, keep it low, just keep it going in one movement. There we go, big image, but it makes no difference, big or small, as long as your movement's the same, gentle, there we go, so we've just peeled the A from the B. All right. Okay, so we've now uh, pressed the A to the B for the laser dark on this graphic, which we have um, printed using the settings for dark media. As you can see, there's not an awful lot of detail in that at the moment. Uh, you still see some of the colors down there coming through. Um, but what we'll do now is put this on a t-shirt and show you how it comes out on a t-shirt, a black t-shirt, using the dark media settings. Okay, this is cool and ready to peel, so I thought I'd just quickly show you this one again, the peeling process. Uh, wait for it to be stone cold and then get it on a hard surface. Do it this way because you can see my finger. Get a corner, peel it up, and then run it flat back along itself, okay? And then you keep your finger nice and get the other hand to support it. And you can drag it right back. You hear it crunching. There we go. There we are. So that has now put the image on. And as you can see from that angle, you can still see an awful lot more color in there than you originally could when it was first printed. 
Um, but what I'll do is I'll get the finishing paper on this now and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so we've finished now with the matte finishing paper, the image. And if you remember when I showed you it was first printed, you couldn't really see any detail in it. It looked really pretty bad. But this is what it looks like on the t-shirt. Now, I think you've got to agree, that looks pretty awesome. Um, that's using the dark media settings. Um, feels absolutely fantastic. No papery feel to that at all, anywhere on that. Feels great. Um, and what the, what the software's basically done is, all these dark parts of his body, which if you printed it, um, as it just put as you put it straight into the software this would all be printed in dark um, so you'd have dark print on the dark garment and it would feel papery but the computers basically realized that it's going on a dark garment so it's removed a lot of the dark areas but still kept it as part of the image so that way you're using the t-shirt itself to create parts of his body there's still bits of ink there just to give the finer details and also the color here you notice on the uh, uh, a foil when we printed it, you could really hardly see it, but once it's printed onto the shirt, it looks absolutely awesome. Um, so I think that's turned out really well and just shows you the benefits of using the different settings within the um, uh, RIP software for, for light media, dark media, uh, the micro mask for certain jobs. But this, so basically, this has been printed uh, with a laser dark. Um, using the dark media settings in step five in the software um, and that is the result I think you'll agree I think that looks pretty awesome um, so I hope that's been of some help um, thanks to Mohammed for the question um, and yeah I think it's turned out great if that's helped you brilliant um, I hope you've enjoyed the video um, please do give us a thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't um, and yeah, um, I'll try and get some more videos up soon. Any questions, please do ask. Uh, anything you'd like to see, please do ask. I'm gonna try and learn how to do sort of screenshots so I can actually show you each step of the software um, soon, but uh, that's a little bit beyond me at the moment. Um, but thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.